Hey, what's up guys? Did you notice there is a siding war is going on in the country? Every siding manufacturer decided to come forward and say this. It's an amazing product. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Census Bureau data shows vinyl siding is the number one exterior wall material. And this. It's official. LP Smart Side withstands impact better than other siding. They just decided to say, hey, we're the best, we're the strongest, we are maintenance free or whatever else they're saying. So today, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put three popular siding options to the test. We're going to compare them in the 10 different categories. Durability, fire, termites, finish warranty, maintenance free or not free, installation, warranty overall, appearance look, cost and safety. So we're going to put three options. James Hardy, LP Smart Side and Mastic Quest Vinyl. And I want to point out this guy right here, LP Smart Side, because they're the one who started the war, they're the one who's really going after everybody else and trying to convince consumers in the country that they are the best. So let's see how these guys will come up in our test. So here's the contenders again. James Hardy, LP Smart Side, and Vinyl. For Vinyl, we picked up Mastic Quest. Pretty good 0.46 siding. Much different than you're gonna get from your home improvement stores. It's long boards, it's not your regular 12, so you can get it even, I think, 24 foot. So you don't have a lot of seams, but regardless, it's pretty good siding option. Then you have your LP, and then you have your James Hardy right here, and we have a little bit aftermarket piece for LP, and we'll tell you why they need it in this test. So let's start right away, guys. I don't wanna keep you bored. I just wanna do my little presentation here, my little test. So durability, obviously, James Hardy, stands out lp smart side will be number two and master quest number three now according to lp smart side they're the strongest board but why did we give them second place the reason we give them second place because they don't have any warranty for hail damage for to be honest even L even quest siding even vinyl siding has hail warranty so if you get this board right here in the house they say you know, we're the strongest. If you've seen the hammer test, you can click on the video right here to see our hammer test. So we proved in our video that James Hardy and LP are actually, you know, very strong, very competitive, but in the real life test, but James Hardy does has hail damage uh, coverage in the warranty and LP, uh, LP smart side doesn't have it. What it tells you homeowner. So when LP say, hey, we have stronger boards, but in the warranty they say we don't cover hail. Guess what? I'm gonna go for the warranty, I'm gonna go for the James Hardy. That's just my opinion. You might disagree, but you know, we give them well, number one, we think it's a stronger board. But LP is a strong too. So let's go to the fire. Obviously, James Hardy is a very good winner here, no problems. I mean that that's never gonna burn. LP Smart Side, we're gonna give them second, and Mastic Quest is gonna be number three. The reason is three, because it's gonna melt, it's gonna burn, you just have bad fire rating. Termites, animals, insects, everybody of that nature, James Hardy is gonna be number one. We're actually gonna give Mastic here number two, and we're gonna do LP Smart Side number three. Let me explain. James Hardy is absolute winner because nobody likes to eat concrete. Woodpecker is not going to chew on it, nothing of that nature. LP Smart Side saying that termites not going to eat it, but in their warranty they exclude termite damage. So that sends me very disturbing man uh, message because it's still a wooden product and I believe there's a big chance that termites will eat it. I don't have a proof for it, but it's excluded from their warranty. Vinyl siding. Animals don't like it, but they can go behind it, your, you know, your ants, your uh, bees and stuff like that, because there's tons of gaps in the product and we see it a lot. You remove the board, so, you know, a lot of times it can create, nobody is gonna chew on it, but at the same time they can live in it. Finish warranty. We're gonna give finish warranty Mastic Quest first, James Hardy second, and LP third. Let me explain. The reason we did, third place for LP smart side 
They might have 30 year warranty, but it's not their warranty. It's actually a paint shop warranty. LP Smart Side doesn't cover their finishes. The only warranty you can get from the company, it's actually in the boards. So when your board uh, fails because of the you know paint chips or whatever, it's always going to be somebody else's fault. It can be also your contractor fault because every time you cut it, like we have a piece right here, like that, that part right there has to be painted during the install by your contractor who installs it. Now, it's not LP fault. So if this board ever failed because of the paint finish, guess what? It's not LP. So that's why number three goes to them. Even if they claim it's better <coughs> paint warranty. James Hardy on another side, you know, much better because they actually paint their product, they bake the paint in. So we put it in the microwave. You can click it right here for that video link and you can check for yourself. Even if you put it in the microwave, after five minutes, nothing happening to the board. And LP is gonna start warming up, buckling, and uh, eventually gonna caught on fire. So much better finish on the James Hardy. Maintenance. Well, for the maintenance, vinyl siding is gonna be number one. It's true maintenance free. Once you install it, you can forget it for years. Both James Hardy and LP Smart Side will require some annual maintenance. And uh, unfortunately, LP is the worst from, from the three here. So we're gonna do number two for the James Hardy, number three for LP. So the reason some of you can say, oh, why do you keep bashing LP Smart Side? Well, that's their maintenance package. And uh, let me know if any of these maintenance items you would wanna do as a homeowner. Make sure sprinklers do not spray water directly onto your siding or trim. Keep roof surfaces and gutters in working order so water is diverted away from the siding. Inspect your paint and for cracking, peeling, fading or chalking. Pay special attention to the bottom rows and under the window casing. Look for signs of mildew. Keep the painting surface free of mold, mildew and algae. Does anybody know how to do that? You have a three-story house, how in the world are you gonna check it for mildew? But that's LP Smart Site for you. Definitely not maintenance free. It's gonna require a lot of your attention. You have to check the caulking lines when, when you install it. You will have to constantly be checking it yearly. As a matter of fact, you will even have to repaint your house before paint fails. So if you have 30 year warranty, we would recommend repaint your house after 25. You don't wanna wait till last year. You're gonna wait entire warranty from LP on that. And that goes to your maintenance package again. Installation. So number one, again, easiest to install, easiest to manage, it's mastic siding or any other vinyl siding. Now, between LP Smart Side and James Hardy, I see a lot of contractors coming forward now and say they switch from James Hardy to LP. The reason they switch because it's easier to install. Well, is it really true? Is it really easier to install? In my experience, LP Smart Side, yes, it's a longer board, it's a lighter, and it can be the case. It is easier to install until if you don't do it right. If you do it right, you require much more painting. You have to prime and paint every edge of your uh, cutted pieces. So every time you cut a piece, like in here on the gable, and uh, or like right in here, everything has to be touched up and paint. And what we see, builders say, well, LP is easier, it's easier to, and you know what, maybe it's true. But um, a lot of LP installers these days, they just close their eyes, they don't do it right. Every builder who said that he switched from James Hardy to LP because it's you don't require special tools or because you don't have to wear a mask. If you don't wear a mask on LP Smart Side, you should not be in business. If you're cutting this product every single day, I want to let you know you can get a cancer just like you can get cancer from James Hardy. So I've seen the builders on YouTube saying. I switch from here to here because it's easier to install, no specialty tools and no masks. Well, both of them require to have a mask. Both of them can get a cancer and all of that. So make sure you stay, uh, you, you are um, educated on that. So we will give 
LP smart side is of install so they're gonna be second and third but this is not true second place I mean this two very very close so warranty overall we're gonna give Mastic first uh, James Hardy second and LP in our opinion LP has the worst siding warranty we've ever seen and let me explain LP smart side is a product came on the market after LP Inner Seal. Inner Seal uh, was producing on the same factories that LP Smart Side producing today. But LP Inner Seal was complete failure. So that uh, product ended up in a $1 billion class action lawsuit. So it cost company billion dollars. What do you think they're gonna do? If you would lose billion dollars in a class action, you will probably protect future product so you don't lose the money. And that's true for their warranty. Their warranty protects LP from any potential uh, cases against them in the future. That's why you don't have hail coverage. You don't have an in installation instruction. They say if any water ever gets behind, it's not LP liability. You have to install house wrap. That's why their warranty excluded in a lot of states and a lot of cities. You cannot get their warranty on LP Smart Side in Portland, Oregon, and Seattle, California, some areas, Hawaii. There's a lot of areas their warranty is not covered. Because of the exclusion of their warranties, they're getting number three in our chart. Next one, appearance and look. There's a lot of people in the world. Everybody has an opinion. I have my own. A lot of people say that LP looks better than James Hardy. I would say that vinyl will be number three here. And LP board itself does look a little bit better than James Hardy, but their trim is very rough and very ugly. Their trim, because it's a, it's a board itself made out of OSB, it's always gonna be rough. So it'll be looking like this. So that's why pieces like this exist in the market. It made aftermarket to make LP look good. This piece right here will look good, but it's not gonna have LP warranty. So LP trim is so ugly and it has so many problems with the edges. Nobody likes, likes them. So they look horrible. For this reason, we're giving them number two and we're gonna give James Hardy number one. Now, I do agree that their board is more nature look, but from the distance, you know, James Hardy and LP, a lot of people will not even notice or notice the difference. But if you come closer to the edges, LP trim is very rough and you'll have to go to aftermarket to get a better corners. So for that reason, number two goes for LP. For the cost, Mastic Quest is gonna be the cheapest option, which is better for the consumer, number one. And uh, we're gonna say that James Hardy and LP are gonna share second and third place. Uh, what we find out that most contractors charge the same amount to install LP and James Hardy. Uh, for materials labor involved in it, there's not really a big challenge in between two. One is not more than another. Safety, vinyl siding gonna be the safest option and James Hardy gonna be second and third again, despite the fact that LP is trying to convince people that, oh, our competitors have silica dust in it. Well, if you cut even wood, you can get cancer from it. So that's a little bit not fair statement from LP. Both of these project, products pretty dangerous. You have to wear a mask, you have to cover your eyes. They're pretty dusty. You can get cancer from it. For that reason, they're gonna share second and third places. So results are in. So as you can see, and I wanna just a little speculation here. What we've done here, we, we couldn't find a winner between James Hardy and um, LP SmartSide on the cost and the safety. We think they're right about the same. So we just gave them both second places. So it says twos and thirds, but pretty much they're both second places compared to vinyl. So Master Quest got 17 points, James Hardy got 17 points, and LP Smart Side got 24 points. We did not make it up. We were, you know, we have 10 categories to go through and we're just doing, you've seen what we've done. The results are results. Master Quest, it's the cheapest option out there. It's pretty safe, it's pretty durable, it's pretty easy to install easy to maintain, warranties are great. Yes, it doesn't have durability. Yes, you know, like fire will, you know, melt it and stuff, but this is what it is. James Hardy, it costs more, 
it's not very safe you have to be more careful it takes more time to install but at the same time it's exceptional durable product awesome finishes and if you're going for the look and you compare the two if you like james hardy look better prepare to pay much more if you like if you know if you like vinyl siding look and you don't mind you know some negativities about the product it's also not bad so here's the result 1717 an lp smart site and i expected it because i i know how it performs i've seen it i read their warranty i'm not going to be delusional about it uh, i see a lot of contractors switch to lp smart site i'm just personal not buying the story here's the reason why i mean you make your choice i'm installer i would not have it in my house and if i would have to reside my personal house i would go between these two options and i know i would be safe with either one thanks for coming guys and see you next time you made it through another video i cannot tell you how thrilled i am i don't know many people who can watch me to the end but you apparently did i feel like we're already closer you want to seal the connection click the button to subscribe i'll see you next time